Hello and welcome to Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light. My name is Jemolf and this is the game 2. Uh, there is game 1 on the playlist, so do check that out if you for some reason stumbled on this video before those. And uh, I will start a new game, have another go at the game. In my first game, I managed to unlock the NG Cruiser because I reached the Sector 5 in the game and uh, this ship relies on drones and iron weaponry. So uh, I will uh, give this one a go. The iron won't damage anything but it can disable systems, especially shields of course. And as far as damage goes for starters, I'll be relying on this simple drone. And uh, I have two NG crew members and one human. And uh, I'll be uh, renaming these fellows like I did the last time, as far as game two. Oh, Butters, <laughs> what an awesome name. Uh, and uh, then I have one. One um, human here, and now uh, let's call this one uh, G2 Taurus A. And this ship has its own achievements to unlock the Type B. Robotic warfare with the NG cruiser have three drones functioning at the same time. Okay, with the NG cruiser destroy an enemy ship using only drones. Probably easier if I have three drones functioning at the same time. The guns, they have stopped. Have four enemy systems or subsystems ironed at the same time while using the NG cruiser. For that I probably need an additional iron weapon. Oh, and this ship also comes with the augmentation that... Heals the crew even when they are not in the med bay. Now that's great. That's awesome. And of course uh, I will need to see how this layout works. It's a bit different. These areas are quite hard to vent. But it is, it is much larger and these, uh, all these rooms are bigger and there's the drone control. Okay, but uh, normal difficulty. NG Cruiser, go. And as before, the data I carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. I need supplies for my journey, I need to make sure I explore each sector, and now I need to get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet reaches me. And yes, I know things can be sold. Looks like I'm in a... <laughs> I'm in a nebula right off the bat. Let's put butters into weapons, and let's put Perko on the shields for now. Well, actually, no. Put Perko as a pilot, and Lagardi on the shields, because uh, these fellows can repair faster, and the pilot probably won't have time and chance to leave his post. So, uh, yeah, those uh, those will be a uh, much much more important. Right, are we in a nebula to begin with? We have a store right there, store where we can't buy anything, and we are on a nebula. I think I will take my chances and go through the nebula here, then maybe head here. Or maybe from here jump to store if there is a path. And then just go towards the exit and maybe explore here if I have the time. So in a nebula, we have a... In nebula we don't see... A, we can't use our sensors. And there might be a plasma storms and such. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. Well, I don't have the scrap. I don't have the scrap and I only see one laser there. He has drones. I think I can do this. Uh, I, I need the resources, so uh, 
pirate scum, black market weapon trader. I would buy your weapon maybe if I had extra scrap, but now I will need to take you down. Okay, they have a they have a defense drone. I'm not worried about that because I'm not using missiles. That thing might fire two shots. Um, but uh, my iron blast is only good for taking down their shields and then my uh, my drone needs to do the hard work. I will try to disable the weapons as well. Good. I can somewhat alter alternate these uh, these shots, especially when my uh, when my drone is uh, kind enough to uh, shoot the shield. Wherever the drone shoots, that's random. I can't aim it, and that only fires one shot. Okay, so that's good. Their oxygen system is down. That's interesting. Uh, I can't... I can't suffocate them now. Especially since there's just one hull left, so yeah. The drone will, with next shot, shot finish the job. Nice. It's a whole... whole different style of combat with, uh, with the drone and the iron blast. And uh, I will like this very much when I get more. If I get the additional iron blast. Oh, and I only now noticed that uh, this ship only has three weapon slots. The Kestrel had four. Is it really so? Yeah, only three weapon slots. Okay. This seems to be that there's room for five. So maybe some of the ships have space for five? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, right, that was a successful fight in the nebula. Let's go to the other nebula sector. Thankfully no plasma storm, but we have a mantis scout. Luckily with no... Luckily with no um, teleportation system. Each time I use a drone, it uses drone parts. And then uh, there is an augmentation that lets me retrieve drone parts, or higher chance to retrieve drone parts back. I definitely need that because I'll probably be relying on uh, on the drones. They have a laser and they have a bomb. The bomb will will go past everything I have, so uh, I will uh, need to see how this goes. I will try to take the weapon system out. If uh, if the shield comes back up, this iron blast will take off the sh off the shield. Nice timing, drone. Excellent. Very good. I'm keeping that bomb offline. My shields can handle that uh, that laser. And this should be quite easy now. Or it is quite easy now. Okay, we get the drone part back. That's good. That's always good. And with with 45, yes, we have the access to the store. Excellent. You might even might even afford to buy something with that. There is only one other ship at this beacon, and it's showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and no are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Well, that's too bad for you, but that is good thing for me. Oh, I can't afford these. Damn it, I would love to have these. Oh, man. Why couldn't I get five more scrap? I can't really sell this one. This is uh, highly useful later on. Cuz I don't need to don't need to move my crew members to the med bay for them to heal. Uh, yeah, I guess I am uh out of luck here. Yeah, 
I am. I can't. I can't do anything. I will save the money. Because I, I do need something else before the enemies start to get harder. The the best possible one I could find was would be a, a second iron blast. But that would require, of course, a whole lot of weapon power. But uh, that would be perfect. With that I could disable disable enemy systems quite quite easily. But, no such luck, so moving on. The Distress Beacon is coming from... Oh, there was a Distress Beacon. Distress Beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears it is being chased by a pirate. Okay, pirate? This, this uh, ship is an interesting one. Uh, I noticed, noticed this... Uh, just just uh, recently when I watched watched my game one this uh, oxygen system here it doesn't have a door so unless they have someone in there they can't repair this system uh, unfortunately Fortunately, I don't have any means to target that one, but uh, I'll keep that in mind if I happen to get it disabled with the drone shooting it. But it's all based on luck. Oh, it's health damage now. That's not good enough. Nice! Okay! Hmm. I think I can try this now. Because they, they can't repair that. I will take my drone out. And my iron blast will keep auto firing on their weapons. Taking shield out on the second turn. And then hitting on the, se on the second. And their iron weapon is not doing anything to me. So as, as long as I keep this going, they will suffocate eventually. And because their engine is disabled, also in a room that they can't repair, uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is this is nice. They can't escape. They <laughs> they are running out of oxygen. If I was in that ship, uh, I'd be. Uh, I'd be thinking about uh, thinking about the location of the escape pod right now. Yeah, but there is none in the game, but uh, anyway, let's uh, pretend there is. That, those were lucky sh lucky shots from them. Lucky shots from the droid shooting the oxygen system. And because the iron iron we iron weapon is not doing anything, it's just disabling my shields. I'm a uh, I'm just uh, <laughs> waiting for them to die. Plus, my weapon guy gets <laughs> gets a whole lot of experience shooting that iron weapon. My shield guy doesn't get anything because the iron iron one uh, it uh, disables the shield. I don't know, maybe he gets something. Oh come on, how long can it take? There we go. No more life signs detected on the pirate ship. I get some, I get more more resources this way. I got the achievement for suffocation in the game one, but uh, uh, if I if I get, uh, I I will be trying this more and more if I if I find find the tools for it. Okay, let's see what the civilian ship says. The ship you saved was badly damaged in battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off a nearby station. One offers to join your crew. Welcome aboard. Oh, another NG. I was hoping for something, some other race, but uh, that'll do. I get an engine man, Mr. Lacardi. Uh, I could upgrade stuff now, but I will keep an eye on a store first. I think I will visit this place before that, see if I can get even more scrap. Inc 
increasing my... Yes! Burst Laser Mark 2. Are you kidding me? Drone part scrap. As you arrive in the system, you are hailed by a loyal, loyalist settlement. Upon learning of your quest, they offer you supplies. Now that is a valuable weapon. Sure, it needs two power, but uh, the value of that is uh, is high. And I get the scrap, and I have a store to visit. Outstanding. What do we have here? A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. Crew members, I don't really need. Yeah, this is a this is a 80 80 scrap weapon, and I can even sell it for 40. I won't sell it. This is an excellent addition to my iron blast. Iron blast taking down the shields. The burst laser taking down more shields and damaging their shields. And uh, this is great when I get two more weapon power. This ship isn't as good for teleporting as some other ships for the crew transporter. And the NG won't make very good uh, invaders because they do health damage. So I'd need to find Mantis for that strategy. So I think I will save the points and actually upgrade my weapon system and power so I can use the burst laser. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the way to go here, I think. Upgrading the weapon system that much takes... Hmm. On the other hand, I can just alternate those, right? For now. Until I get more, more power to it. Yeah, it's 85. Maybe I'm better off giving myself another shield and one more power. Because this way. I can have another another set of shields. If I'm not using the drone, I can have the shield right away. If I am using the drones, I can disable this one. If I'm using just a burst laser, I'll have more power to the other systems. Yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of opportunities here. Interesting ones. I will uh, take this distress call. Well, actually, I will go here first. Maybe I have time to go through all these before the exit. Once you arrive, your screen lights up a warning. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down our engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Well, that's good. Okay, how do we how do we do this? I could just go for the kill with the burst laser. And I still have power for the drone, but I, I want to use the drone here. Uh, I will first try to disable their disable their um, weapons. Oh, the missile will fire, damn it. Hits the pilot, good hits on the, on the burst laser. Very nice. Let's try... Let's try if I can uh, disable their oxygen as well. Good. It 
Let's go with iron one. See how that goes. Keep the oxygen disabled. Or well, keep the weapons disabled actually. Okay, they uh, repaired it. Fine. Oh, I messed it up. Yeah, they have a... That doesn't do anything now. No worries about that. Oh, the missile is still alive. Oh, hell. Into weapon room. Still had power for this. Come on, hit. Oh, dude. Nice dodge there. Tactical mistake of trying to trying to take down the oxygen. Should have kept the pressure on the weapons and just do it. There we go. There's fire there. Let's go and repair it. Uh, they'll be healed while they do it. And they put the fire out easily. That's good. Good hit. Just one more. Two more. It could be next attack if I'm lucky. Well, at least the weapons are out. Took some uh, unnecessary damage there, but... Um, it's okay. Free fuel, 13 scrap. Better than nothing. And we already jump. Yes, indeed, I do have time to visit these ones. So let's. You locate the source of the distress call. A nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement and riot seems likely. I recall that I uh, faced this one in the game one, and when I sent in my crew, uh, one of them got infected, I had to leave that crew member behind, but now I have a NG. NG is a robotic life form, so I guess they don't get a disease, and the blue option is most of the time the good one, so uh, of course I will send NG down there. With no fear of catching the disease, your NG crew helps reassure and organize the infected humans. Calmed by its extensive knowledge about human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes of that the cure can be found soon. The colony leaders offer reward for helping to re prevent an ugly incident. Great, way to go NG. NG dudes. Yes. One, two, three. We can even have time to visit all of these. So I will. A rebel ship has been patrolling this region. As soon as you arrive, it begins its assault. They have drones, and they have a beam. If the drone takes down the shield... No, wait a minute, I have two shields. Ah, this is easy. Easy as pie. Question is, can I, can I somehow, somehow keep them controlled? I will try. Actually, let's fire there. Mm -hmm. 
their their weapon rip doesn't do anything to me with uh, with two shields. The beam stops on a shield always, and this drone is also a beam drone, so it actually I don't even need that one. Uh, right, but I I can't use the iron blast. Right, okay. Yeah, beam <laughs> two two beam weapons against a shielded ship. Uh, no means to damage the damage the enemy. So in other other words, they are they are screwed. Let's try to keep that disabled. See how this works out. If I can keep that red or disabled, it'll uh, this might work out. This is a waiting game again. It's also while it's ionized. I don't think they can repair it while at it. It's still red. Yeah, I might be might be able to do this. I guess I might as well have two shields up, even though it doesn't really matter. Takes little time, but uh, I will get more resources if this is successful, so definitely worth a try. Nice. Yeah, this uh, random enemies with random weapons, you can you can get you can get uh, get an insanely hard enemy right here in the map one with some uh, several missiles or something. But uh, sometimes you get enemies like this, two beam, two beam weapons and nothing else. There they go. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it off useful materials. I kind of hoped I would have found more. Uh, that the scrap collecting arm would be uh, would be highly highly useful. And yes, indeed, I I do have time to visit all of these. This beacon has been built for nearby civilian space station. No one hails your ship. And I couldn't even get any resources from that. Well, that's... And my my weapons guys already... Uh, already one star and uh, on, on the way to mastery. Because the iron blast weapon fires so much that... Uh, keeps getting drained. You arrived at the long range beacon. Is there anything here? Heavy on oh wow. Debris from a battle is scattered around this system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there is a functioning weapon among them. Are you kidding me? Can I be any luckier with these? Wow, this is... So it does do iron damage? The charge time is long, okay, so that's... yeah, okay. <laughs> this is... this is exactly what I wanted. A second... second iron weapon. Oh, wow! Now, now it's only a matter of finding a whole lot of droids, and then, uh, well, Iron Blast is probably better than this one because uh, it's uh, such a slow, slow time to load. But I can always sell this when I find an Iron Blast in a store if I find one. So, uh, yeah, this was uh, this was perfect. Okay, this was. Game 2, Sector 1, and um, I'll see you on the next video where we jump to the Sector 2. Until then, take care, bye bye.